Hey guys, Nicole here with Obscure Reptiles and Caging and today we're going to be showing you how to make an easy and simple ball python hatchling setup. So let's get started. Hey guys, so we have started making setups for ball pythons. One of the biggest questions or most often asked questions from people is where we get our hides, where we get water dishes, what kind, what size bin, how do you heat it, and pretty much everything to do with baby ball pythons, especially people who are new to ball pythons getting their first one or who are just trying to do care the proper way. So what we have right here is what our setups are going to be. So we are going to be selling full setups for you guys. You guys are close to Buffalo, New York. We're in North Tonawanda, which is only about 20 minutes from Buffalo. But we're going to be selling these with six quart bins like this and with 12 quart bins, which is actually what this little girl is in. This is a 12 quart. That's the next step up from the six quart. It's a, these are Sterlite bins. Um, but a 12 quart bin is for a snake that has just outgrown their 6 quart, you generally upgrade it to a 12 quart like this one. So we're going to have both sizes available. And I'm also going to show you guys a couple ball pythons that are almost big enough to upgrade to those 12s. That way you guys have a good idea of what size ball python should be in which of these bins. But to get started, we will go over... This is our six quart bin and everything that we include we're going to show you guys uh, but this is what we recommend. The only thing we are not going to be including is a thermostat which this is a really good one. I would not recommend a small cheapo one like this just because they're like $15, $20 on Amazon. They're not very reliable. We just had this as a backup for this incubator but we're actually switching it out so we won't be using it at all. I would highly recommend something like a Viverum. They're like $80, $90, something like that. Especially if you go to Reptile Basics, something like that. You can get these normally pretty cheap. But we will not be including the thermostat. And the, one other thing I always recommend everyone gets if you have ball pythons is a temperature gun. You can shoot it on anything and you can read the exact temperature. That way you can know for sure when you guys are doing your setups at home that the hot spot and the cold side have the proper temperature. If you guys don't know what kind of temperatures, humidities, all that kind of stuff, or even what kind of like bedding this is, we have an entire ball python hatchling care guide that we go completely in depth with everything. Right now we're just specifically going to be showing you guys their setups. And because I know a lot of people are going to ask, the reason why we always use bins and not glass is one, normally glass tanks, even a 10 gallon, already is too large. And you can't really hold humidity very well in glass. That's why one of the best, easiest setups for especially babies is a very simple setup like this. So what is included is we have a blackout hide, which is perfect for a little ball python. Even once we upgrade to the 12 quart bin, normally it's this size hide. They don't really make one that fits really well in the 12 quart, but they do make a larger one that's called a medium that fits really well in a 28 quart. But other than the hide, we've also got a water dish. We've got a few different color ones, but this just so happened to be a pink one we have. Um, not only does it have these little divots so the babies can actually get under there and they can lift it and get inside, it actually has this full ring around the inside and the snakes can completely get underneath and use this as a hide. So not only do you have a nice dark out hide, generally you're going to put the heat tape on this side, then because water is normally pretty cool, it keeps this side really cool, especially when they hide underneath it or it's big enough that they can fit inside of it. We will not be drilling the holes for you guys only because depending on where you're going to keep your animal, what type of bedding you're going to be using, you might have different needs for your humidity. So if you guys are going to be using um, a coconut husk, something like this, this is gaps bedding, this can be included as well if you guys want, but this is very humid so what we like to do is just do three on each side. You can also do holes right into the bin themselves, it's completely up to you guys. Normally you actually want to use a really sharp drill bit so it doesn't crack the plastic. But depending on how much airflow, how high or how low of humidity is, where you're keeping that animal, it's kind of going to be up to you guys. We've showed you guys this in the past to make sure that it is escape proof. Um, they normally can't push where it actually clicks in and locks, but sometimes you get really curious ones that can push up these sides here. So to help fix that, we have these binder clips which we also will have included. 
That way you guys won't have any escapees, any problems like that, and you just clip them on the sides. If you're trying to put them next to each other, you can close these up so you can fit more side by side. But this way you guys won't lose any of your babies, especially if you have a really small one or one that's really curious. So what this is, it's actually THG heat tape. And for you guys who don't know anything about heat tape, what it is, is this is one of the easiest ways and it can be one of the safest ways to heat your animal because you completely control what temperature you set. So there is actually copper, as you can see, running up both sides, plus there's copper underneath all these black stripes. And if you ever need to cut this stuff, you can cut on the clear marks in between. And we made this 17 inches. That way, once you guys go to upgrade your animals, let's say you're gonna upgrade to a 28 quart tub, this right here is a 28 quart. It's gonna fit perfectly underneath your 28 quart tubs and a 41 quart is the exact same width, just longer. So as long as your room is gonna be warm enough you're keeping them in, this heat tape will be enough not only for a six quart, 12 quart, 28 quart, but it should be good for a 41 quart as again, as long as your room temperature is warm enough and it's keeping your hot side hot enough, especially for that large of a bin. Sometimes if you're keeping the animal in a very cold environment, you might need to upgrade to like six inch or 12 inch. I've always used three to four inch and it's worked really well. So the way this is gonna work is you have your thermostat and you plug this right into the thermostat and then a thermostat has a probe. You can see this cord hanging right here. What I like to do, I put the probe right on the heat tape and I actually like to tape it down. The benefit of this being a free piece and not stapled down or glued down in any way is you can actually put your probe and completely wrap it with tape so you know that that probe is not going to fall off. If your probe falls off, this will continue to heat until it gets to whatever you've set it to. So if your probe's over here, it's going to keep heating trying to get to let's say your 92 degree hot spot. It's going to keep trying to heat which could melt your bin, it could cause fires, and it could kill your animal. So it is very important that you keep your probe somewhere where you can kind of check on it, you can see it, and on top of that you want to make sure it's really attached down to it. You can put your probe and drill a hole and put it inside the bin but you have to be very careful because your animal might move it around, they might spill a bunch of water on it, there could be issues, so I personally like to put the probe on the outside and tape down completely. Now one of the reasons why I say that this is so important is because if you're doing what I do and you put the probe on the outside, you might be setting this to 93 degrees and you go and you check the inside of your bin, well the heat tape itself might be 93 degrees, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's transferring 93 degrees through the bin, through the bedding, and onto where the snake's actually going to be sit. It might only be, let's say, 88 degrees, and you want to, you know, get a 90 or 91 degree hotspot, whatever it is. You want to make sure you have one of these so you can check and see what it is, because on top of that, if you've got this on one side of your bin, cold side on the other side, you also are going to want to kind of to keep an eye on that cold side, because being a very small bin like a six quart, sometimes Again, it all depends on the temperature of the room that you're going to have it in. Sometimes you're going to want to completely put the heat tape on like this. Sometimes that doesn't give you enough cold side area. You're going to want to offset it a little bit like this. So that's why you're going to want that temperature gun so you can actually see what's going on. And just a little tip for you guys who are new, if you have a baby ball python and they're going into shed, you want to raise up that humidity a little bit. When you're drilling the holes, if you drill, let's say, five holes on one side and only two holes on the other side, keep the water dish where there's less holes and it's going to hold a little bit more humidity. And on top of that, if this is how your cage normally is, if your animal you can see is going into shed, you want to raise the humidity, turn it around like this and now the water is going to be warmer so it's going to actually make more humidity for your cage. You can also spray them down, but this is also just a quick easy way to make sure you're getting a little bit more humidity to help your baby shed. Now lastly, we're going to give you guys the option if you wanted to upgrade and actually get a full bag of this bedding. This does look very small, but this is actually a little bit more than half of one of those bags. You actually soak it in water. I've got a whole video showing you guys how to do it. But this is what it looks like once it's swelled up. Again, this is a little bit more than half of one bag. So if you guys only have one or two ball pythons, that's going to last you a very long time. 
We're going to be trying to see if we can ship these and make it so that it's cost effective for us and for you guys. But anyone who's local will definitely be doing them for people who are local. We can also bring these to reptile shows. Right now the only show that we actually vend locally is Rexpo that's in Rochester, New York. Uh, we're only going to be at the fall show every year because we really don't have animals for the spring show. But we are going to offer these for pre-sale if you guys want anything definitely let me know. If you guys aren't local and you want me to try shipping, I can also do that. If you guys want to order one of these and you want us to actually ship it, for right now we're just going to try shipping in the U.S. and see how that goes. So just an example for you guys, this is to show you, this is a young ball python hatching we have. She's still under 100 grams so we have not put her on bedding, we just have her on paper towel so we can keep a really good eye on her. And as you can see, this is the only bad part about having the coconut husk, is they knock it into there. But this girl is a little bit larger. I'll pick her up to show you guys size. But as you can see, she's a little bit larger. This girl just got upgraded to this bin with bedding. So she's a little bit over 100 grams. She's a little bit bigger than this girl over here. So she is perfect in this size bin. Now to show you the next size up, this is that 12 quart bin. This is a very comfortable female. This is a pastel, either yellow belly or gravel. She's sitting in here and to demonstrate for you guys how we still have the same size hide, but this girl is even larger and she kind of doesn't fit under it perfectly. But unfortunately they don't really make a hide that is wide enough to fit in here. The next size up is a lot larger. But this size girl, she'll be able to stay in here a little bit longer, probably another two, 300 grams, and then we'll be upgrading her to the 28 quart. Especially if you guys are just starting out with ball pythons, I know it can be kind of difficult to know what size, what type of hide, all that kind of stuff, so hopefully this will simplify it for everyone. But that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions, you can put them in the comments below. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We do new videos every Wednesday, and I'll see you guys next Wednesday.